Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with my garage. So, it's my phone making noises in the background. Anyway, off camera I did do a bit of uh, tweaking to this truck, changed the tyres. While I was changing tyres, I did notice that on this side needed a new brake caliper and uh, Hub carrier, so I swapped those, um, and then I realised I'd forgotten to bolt all the toolboxes on, so they're all bolted on. Moved the tail lights as well, so this is job done. This one, so I think I'm going to open up the garage. I think it's that one. Yep. I do not know why we've got a jerry can in here. Let's get rid of that out of the way. I bought this one over here as well, and I've sort of done a bit of prep work on this one. <clears throat> right. I did notice last night there was a. There seems to have been an update on the game, but I couldn't find any information. Got, got to put it in drive first, that might help. Ooh. I forgot this has got a turning circle of a bus. It's got quite a pokey engine in it though. I don't think losing my other F350 uh, transporter was actually a bad thing because it was slower than this. This has got a lot of, uh, a lot of oomph. Ooh. Don't want to get too close to the edge. Okay, so we'll park that in here. Oh, I'm still sure there should be a panel in there. Right, I'll just let that save and we'll crack on with this one. This one should be relatively easy. I've just got to do some engine tuning up because there's some parts in there that need replacing. Respray it. Nuts. I was going to respray it the same red as that truck, and I don't know what the paint code is. Whoops. Well, my FPS has improved a little bit. It still depends where I am on the map. I've noticed that. I mean, out here, down the side of the garage, it's Okay, I'm actually up in the 40s. But if I went inside the garage, sometimes that will drop to the high 20s for some reason. I've not really got a lot in here. I don't know if it's furniture. Too many shelves. Oh, it's actually staying up there now. I don't know if that update, yes, they had anything to do with FPS improvements because I didn't read there was... Um, a few people having problems. It's starting to get a bit dark, isn't it? Right, what do I need? I need head, left head, uh, alternator, water pump. I don't know, there's several bits I've got. Oh, yeah, and the whole uh, frame. Right. I think the easiest option is to grab a couple of axle stands uh, and a jack. Jack it up, get the wheel off, because the jack stands won't lift it high enough. Um, and then put the jack stand under, do it the same the other side, and that should give us enough room. Drop that engine out, haven't I? To get the front, yeah. Alright, and what I'll do. Is there an engine hoist out here? Or an engine stand? Did I leave it out here? It is out here. Right, we'll make use of this then. We'll take the engine out and we'll put it on this. Let's 
somewhere there should be okay. See if we can get the uh, engine out of this before it gets too dark. Because the engine needs work. And it's got to come out of here anyway. And I've got to change the subframe. Let's just get this exhaust off out of the way. Gonna need new tires on this one as well. Oh, I did see a comment on my last video when I was um, struggling to get the transporter body on the other F-350. Um, they said it could have been these tail lights interfering, but uh, I did get it on this one with almost no problems. And it did go on that one once um, I changed the chassis rails, so I don't know. Maybe these do interfere a little bit. I'll remember that though if I ever build another one. I'll have to remember to take these off. Right, anywho, engine. I need that one. Is that the ground one? No, that is not the ground wire. Whoops. That was a head bolt. <laughs> I don't want to take the heads off yet. And that should have been an engine mount. A little air in this tire. I don't know how it drove over here. It drove over here quite nicely, actually. Surprisingly. I can't see that there is. I just had to guess because I couldn't see it lighting up green. Okay, so I've got the exhaust off, haven't I? And... That, I think, I'm hoping, was the uh, starter motor wire. Alternator wire, I don't think it was. It might have been a starter motor bolt, actually, because uh, <laughs> it hasn't uh, undone. Can I see it through here? Is that one it? No? Well, no idea what I just undid there. Oh, no, I just remembered. Just remembered one thing I forgot. That's why I remembered it, because I forgot it. There we go. Fuel line. Oh. Engine still does not want to release. Why? I've got both of those. Well, if I didn't undo that the first time, what did I undo? Ooh, that's going to need a head gasket as well. Two head gaskets. Ooh, this is going to need a fair bit of work on this lamp. Well, or not. <laughs> there we go. I was going to say, we'll stick it on there. I have to go and uh, sleep. I think it's getting a bit too dark. I can't see. Oh yeah, I've moved the desk as well. I've put it out here simply because when you buy large items, they get stuck in those double doors. And that was just getting annoying, so I stuck the desk out here. Okie dokie. That one's had it. What about the lower? Lower one's okay. I've also designated this the scrap pile area. That's why I've put the cones over there. Right, drop that. I need this. And I'm hoping maybe this will go underneath. Don't slide off. Still 
all sliding. Can I get this off fast enough? Yep. And that's got a good tyre on it, so I'll put that over there. I think the other side is uh, a bit naff. And this is somewhere on the... Uh, Why would you, uh... Ah. Yeah, there's only one tire for this one. I'm going to put this over here out of the way as well. And I don't think the rear end needs a great deal doing. Where is that bloody check mark? There. Let me get the jack out of the way. Well, I've got two choices here. I could either drop the subframe as it is. Just move the fuel line out of the way. Or I could just, you know, strip all the parts off while it's still in here. I don't know. Okay, rear tires look a bit low. We do need a rear diff. I was going to swap this for a lot, you know, a like for like, so I was going to put the same one in that comes out. I just need to know what this one is. What are you? 3.8 locked. Right, so I've got to remember that. What about everything else? Are the brakes alright? Brake calipers? Shocks are okay, that spring's okay, that spring's okay. Caliper and flexies are okay. Caliper, yeah, everything is all right in the back. It's just up this end we've got to work on. Right. I think I'm just going to drop the sub out. Ah, I can't, hang on. I'm going to have to take this off at least. So there's a tie rod. I swear that tie rod shrunk when I just took it off. It did. <laughs> right, now I should be able to get some frame. Oh, no. Brake lines are going to keep that in. There we go. Is there anything else while I be under here that needs a replacing? Nope. Stern box linkage and arm is all okay. Master cylinder for the brake is okay. Ooh, this is four wheel drive as well. That's all okay. Transfer case okay. This truck's a manual as well. The other one is um, automatic. Right. Let's start taking bits off of this. So that is good. I had no idea you could take that off with the uh, thingy still attached. Now is this going to sit up the right way? Or lean towards me, that's okay, I can work with that. Or not. Brake pads, brake pads. You need new one in that one. Hopefully I can take the knuckle off. And just leave all the hubs still attached. <laughs> I haven't long been home, and Smudge is uh, looking for my attention. And there's my phone again. I'm 
apologise for the phone going off. I forgot to uh, turn the volume down. It's only some stupid um, games that I play on there, that's all. Just trying to remind me, hey, you need to do things. I don't know, the spring is uh, still attached. I thought they, that would have popped off. What about this caliber? Alrighty, so I need to go and get some brake pads. I was wondering if it'd be prudent to take the uh, rear calipers off and just check those. Springs, when you took the uh, control arms off, they used to just pop off by themselves, but not anymore, apparently. And because I'm ignoring Smudge, he's deciding to uh, knock stuff off behind me. I think all the suspension components were fine, so what I need... You finished? I don't know if you can hear any of that behind me. I forgot I moved the desk over here. I don't know how I forgot I moved the desk over here. I've literally just mentioned it to you all. Right. F-350. Brakes. I'm... I'm going to get a box of each, just in case. I think that's it regarding brakes. And I think the subframe is under oh, I need a diff, don't I? Well that I say it was it was a two a three point eight locked, wasn't it? Which doesn't seem to be here. I think the close was it, it could have been a three point two. They call it a cross member in here. Oh, okay, so. Ha! <laughs> Might have to turn the desk around because everything appears outside. Oh. Here's a 3.8. Why can't I find one in there then? I might have to have another look. get that fixed in. There we go. Right. It's a 3.2 lot. No idea I could walk into it and move it. That's not what I wanted to do. There. Six, two, five, two point five, two point eight, three, three point two, three point two. Oh, it's at the top here. There we go, 3.8 locked. Good. Drop that there and I'll put that on later. Spring compressor. And pry tool. And which one is it? We've got a new way of uh, getting items out of the box. I actually like this way. So instead of clicking on the box with left click now to get your brake pads or your spark plugs or your light bulbs or whatever, 
right click then left click and that just drops it on the floor like that you get four in a box still I like it that way because in the past it was just annoying because sometimes you'd go and pick the box up you'll take a brake pad out instead so uh, yeah that's a welcome change in my opinion right detach that and detach that that can now go over in the scrap pile there's not as much uh, scrap coming off this truck as I thought uh, two bits so far because I managed to straighten out all the bodywork all right I do want to put this in next Where did I throw the wrench? I'll drop it over here. Nope. Nope, I thought that was the wrench as the move tool. Where'd that go? I'll just go and grab one of my spare ones. I have no idea why I've got so many tools. It's not necessarily a bad thing though. Right. That's the front diff in place. Next up. Control arms, I guess. Here the lower one. Near the upper one. I'm guessing right as it's this side here. use my brain for once. Get everything on apart from the brake calipers. You've got to change the uh, brake pads. Might as well, you know, I've had to take everything off anyway. And it would be good to stop. Lost the spring compressor now. Where's that gone? Right beside the spring. One, these are still good. And two. Wrench. Uh, let's do shocks first. to get on with some of the other racing projects as well. I've got uh, over and storage. And I know which one. It's the first safe slot. Okay, let's get the uh, hub carriers and whatnot on. It's got the brake disc all on it as well. Can see the nut. And this one. Should be able to get this back on its wheels. Right, pry tool. One, two, three, four. I mean, technically, I only need to replace the one, but you wouldn't do that on a real vehicle. You'd replace both as a pair. So that's what I'm doing here. When they go in the caliper, get in there. Do as you're told. I think I'll just move the left one. Is that the left? Yeah. Get these on. Uh, 
we have flexies, otherwise we won't have any brakes, and we won't have any brake fluid either. Oh. <laughs> that was the brake um, line for the other side. There's one bolt on, then we've got two tie rods, and job's done up the front. Get the rear diff bolted in as well, and I think mechanically this will be done, apart from the engine. Oh yeah, and I've got to put a new tyre on, haven't I? Subframe change, we might as well get this bolted in. Got that one, I think I've got them. Oh, yeah, I need to uh, change the windows on this as well. I think I got one over at the junkyard. I've got a front windscreen anyway. Still over at the junkyard. I went and did a bit of shopping off camera as well, but I just forgot to bring the damn thing back. Oh, so you can put the wheels on with the uh, jack stands there. I didn't think I'd lifted it high enough. Uh, right, do I... Uh Yeah, well, my FPS has been pretty good. Let's take this. I'll go for a little drive and go and get a front tire. Still need a right-hand door card. And still cannot get one at the junkyard. Got working get gauges now and actually looking at that. I just looked at the fuel gauge, it's a bit low. I'm not gonna chance it and put some gas in it. Just notice as well that this tire is low. Right, well I know there's a pump land just over here. There, that would not have made for good handling. Okay, I'm just going to check them while I've got the pump in my hand. Might as well. I swear I did this when I first got the car, so I have no idea why that uh, tire is flat. Right, let's go pay. What's that? I have no idea why there's an e-brake over there. Oh, yes I do, because I was going to put it in the... Uh, Jalopy lad. Light bulb right in the doorway for some reason. Uh, close enough. <laughs> right. Take a wee drive down to the 
mod shop. That was cool. <laughs> that was close. I have no idea what happened there. Moon is out. Half moon. I know, I don't talk a lot when I'm driving. Mainly because I'm concentrating on driving and not ending up in the cabbage. I'd rather not end up in the trees if I can help it. Gaining speed and I'm not even doing anything, I'm just letting it roll. Oh, I didn't quite touch red line. I suppose I could have left the engine running really, couldn't I? We need one of those. I don't know whether to buy another one of those lifts. I don't know what happened to my other one, it just disappeared. <laughs> well, mine, I've never really used it. It was just nice to have the option in the shop. E-break on. Every time there's one stuck there. I don't even know what he's stuck on. Whoops. Nearly. I've just noticed something else as well. There wasn't any of that um, momentary freeze when it loads in extra parts of the map. Although I have turned off the map extension for now. I don't know if that is part of the improvement. Let me see. Look over there, there's no map. So I don't know if uh, that's helping me FPS. I barely went on the new map anyway. I'm going to turn it back on again at some point just to uh, just to experiment and see if it is the map extension. There we go. It's a bit of a gutless turd, but it got me there and back. <laughs> Yeah, we think it's all good under there. Right. Whoops. I need to go to the time machine. There we go. Right. 
wrong side you're doing that, I've already done that side. Uh, oh, pump. I've got three pumps as well, I don't know why I've got this one. One in the other toolbox, which is in the, the garage, and uh, one outside. Well, I've got the pump in my hand, so I might as well do all the tyres while it's here. I still think, you know, an air compressor would be a a nice up, upgrade. Maybe someone could make a mod. We've got a hubcap on each wheel, haven't we? Yep. 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 Good. Aside from the windows and some paintwork, this um, truck is pretty much good to go. did do an experiment with this bodywork as well and every time this truck sunk to the point you know as you saw when I put this in it started to sink down every time I did that and this rear end would get close enough to the ground the body would pop off so I think it was that that was doing it I think either way it don't matter now because I've got it on the truck it's built it does not matter. There we go. So we are now ready to pull the engine apart. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know how that started with the plug was then, knackered. Let's make a pile of knackered parts so I know what I've got to get. So we need plug wires. this off out of the way. There's going to be a lot of parts scattered about here. In fact, good parts can go over there. Clutch pressure plate in any good. Um, I can't see a clutch in there. Is that just my imagination? I cannot see a clutch at all in there. the uh, rocker covers off that's a good one sweet we have good rockers in here the alternators naff the belt is okay though uh, so is that And alternator in the dead pile. One, that isn't one. That is, that is. That one is, I think there's five in total that hold it on. I'm going to pull both heads off because I'm pretty certain I got a glimpse of a dud head gasket this side. I don't need to take the rockers out. They're okay. Oh, we've got a bad piston as well. What about the sparky plugs? 
one bad spark plug. So I did watch um, a YouTuber earlier ask Rob and he took the spark plugs out of the head and I thought you could just pick it up and flip the head round. Right, so I'll keep that in mind. I've got a dud spark plug in there. Head gasket. Hey, I have to drop the oil pan, aren't I? Never mind. I'll just rotate that. Yeah. Air filter cover is rusted. Air filter's okay though. Your pump is okay. Oh. So I just want to have a look at the timing gears. They are looking okay, so I ain't got to worry about that. Right, tilt this back towards me. Mm. I'm going to count my chickens up. I've got any good spark plugs this side, though. So where's the time? How long have I been? Hopefully in this video I'll get it an up and running truck. If I decide to go for the uh, hour and a half video that I sometimes go for. Be surprised if the head gasket. Oh, the head gasket is good this side, but you know what? I'm just going to change them both for new ones. That's probably got some wear on it anyway. I've only got the one bad piston. That is good. What about sparkulators on this one? I need to get a bit closer because I can't see it. All good spark plugs in there, so I just need the one. I can't believe I've got to drop the oil pan off for one piston. It's only annoying because I've then got to refill the engine with oil. No idea why I just undid a piston. That one. Uh, that one is the dud piston. Yep. I need a piston, I need a, probably a clutch and clutch plate as well. Round we go. Where will it stop? Nobody knows. Pressure plate. Oh, I don't even know how it was moving. The state of the clutch. How did this drive over here? Mind you, it didn't have that much power. In fairness. All right, let's go shopping. Uh, I need no. Nope. That's the I six. I need V eight engine. I need one of those, one alternator, um, left cylinder head, I believe, flywheel is all fine, that's all fine, piston, plug wires, Up a radiator hose. Oh, water pump. I think. Oh, we better have a box of sparky plugs as well. I think that is it. T 
tell me I've got to sleep again. Let's do that again. Let's go sleep. And it's raining. Even though it's nice and sunny, it's still raining. Right. Well, I suppose I should start with the piston, shouldn't I? If we start with the piston, and I can get the oil pan back on. Actually, while I'm standing, I didn't get the clutch and clutch plate, did I? Uh, clutch, clutch plate. Clutch and plate. One more. And that's that sort, right? Head. Oh, you. Donut. I forgot the head gaskets. Okay. So it's this one that I need first. Now I can't remember <laughs> which spark plug it is that was bad. I think it's that one. I know it was one of the end ones. why you can't pick things up while holding this tool. Now, I know that if you get it just right, you can get the spark plugs out. There we go. Drop that. I need one plug from that. Okay. Nearly forgot it.
Okay. Get this head bolted on. Oh yeah, I need um, rockers for this one, don't I? Might be, oh you know, yeah, I might be able to salvage the other ones. I can indeed. Don't know how long they'll last, but they're salvageable. It's actually surprising considering the head itself was bad. I was wondering why I've only got three spark plugs. Where's the fourth one gone? My backpack is empty. Okay then, I'll just get another one out of the box. That one over there, in case you're wondering, that is a dead one. I think. Yep, that one is a bad one. Okay. Did I buy this accidentally? I don't know why I've got that. What one have I got left? I keep forgetting it's left from driver's point of view. Oh. Um, what's going on with that? Better sort that before um, I go any further. Right. What did I just undo? I don't know why, but it, it's not letting me pick up the uh, head gasket. Well, let's go buy another one then. And a bloody wrench down there. Gasket. There we go. Try this again, shall we? I think it's worked that time. Okay. Right side. Nope. Air filter first. Go. Uh. 
Right. Did I not buy a water pump? I swear I bought a water pump. That's the new alternator. Wait, what? I could have swore I bought a water pump. I guess I didn't, as it's not there. Right, get that bolted on. We are almost ready to go back in the truck. I think that's all of them. Alternator. Uh, fan. Headers. Exhaust headers. Don't need to check all, I know there's none in it. Ah oh, yes, the alternator belt. Hmm. Oh, there's a little oil in it. You know what? Should be able to fill it up with oil from here. I'd have thought anyway. Was well, filling. No idea how much I've got to put in here. I'll just have to guess. How's that? Not even close. Uh, what do I drop the empty bottle when I'm going past the bin? Grab another one. I've got some coolant here as well. That's good. If they're full. <laughs> I think I just chucked half the bottle everywhere. Right, let's see where we're at now. I want a little more in there. Let's see if I can get it on the mark. Okay, that will be close enough. Could have swore I had another oil bottle here. Oh well. Right. I say we put it back in. No idea what I just did there. Ah. It is. It's because these trucks are sinking when you put things in. You got to be quick on the bolts. Oh, 
hope the mod creator will fix that because I don't know why they... It's only a recent thing where it started to like sink. I'm glad the rain has stopped because that was uh, getting annoying down my ears. <laughs> One, two, right, uh, let's do fuel line. Where did that just ping to? I let go of it too um, late. Where did that go? <laughs> I was there. Got some cooling in there. Speaking of, let's uh, get the upper hose on. Maybe there's still going to be cooling in there uh, because I only took the upper hose off. See, it's there, it's still got some in it. Uh, yeah, I did bolt all the wires on, didn't I? So. I will top the coolant up. I don't know how much is in any of these. Hopefully it's not going to take a lot to fill it. Although it seems to be taking a bottle at least. There's one bottle gone. I don't know why I crouched to get that. I think it's force of habit now. Like... You don't have to crouch to uh, pick things up off the floor now. I still do it. I don't know why I still do it. I guess it is just a habit. in my radiator or something. Because I've just taken two poles and that level has not even increased. Hang on. Imagine why it's, uh, why it's doing that. Do we have a radiator issue? Viking change it because these are bigger radiators so this takes more to fill it. Maybe. one last one on the shelf haven't I? 4.2 diff there as well. I've forgotten about that. Right. Let's see if this last one will make any difference. I'm 
don't think it's going to. I think there might be an issue here. It could even be a dud raid here. Maybe the game is... Holy moly, that's how many it took. Has it been changed then? That level still isn't different, but we've got the overflow thing, so... Ah. Where's my radiator cap gone? I didn't put it too far away. Oh well, I know when you reload the game, then radiator caps usually reappear. Right, in theory, if I jump in, the headline is a bit rough on this one. Happened there. It's not like you've gone through the floor of the truck for some reason. In, in, thank you. Yep, it runs. I just forgot to put the exhaust back on, didn't I? You the left. Zoom in. And the right one. The right one when I can pick it up. Right. Well, I didn't get as far as I wanted on this truck. And actually, you know what? Let's go for the hour and a half. Um, let's take a trip to the junkyard because I want to go and get that windshield anyway. You never know. We might find uh, a few other bits in here. So get ready to load. This might take a bit of time. I'm getting hungry now. I'm just close to my dinner time. Oh! Sorry, I just needed to stretch. Right. And I need to pop open another Pepsi can. Oh dear. Right. I don't know what I want to get for dinner, though. Oh, I didn't realise it was actually getting that late. It's nearly four o'clock in the afternoon here. That might be why I'm feeling hungry. There we go. Now that everything is loaded in. I might even get lucky, you know, and find a um, right-hand rear door card for a lad. lad up here. I bet it doesn't have a red interior. Nope. I had one earlier when I was playing off camera, but guess what? It was a dud door card. Seriously? <laughs> when I was off camera, I was refreshing the junkyard, trying to get either an F100 or an F350 to spawn with a hood, so I could use it on the... Um, truck back at home. None of them would spawn with it. Now we've got them um, spawned in. All of them. Anyway. Sometimes this game can be quite frustrating. Right, I did see a rear window. Was it, was it in this one? Is that a good one or is that dirty? Yeah, I was trying to get trucks to spawn in with um, a good rear window and 
the hood and none of them would. Now they have. Not that I needed a hood in the end because uh, I actually got it straightened out with a hammer. So. Don't need that. Oh, I do need a mud flap. Are they. Um, Are they set as left and right? Or is it just mud flap? I think they're set as left and right, aren't they? Yeah. And I believe we've already got a right hand one. That's a bed cover. I want that, because I want to rebuild my um, black F100 that I lost. Because I really did like that truck, and, and it disappeared. And then I was all sad. What you got to say? Old Ray sees you. Old Ray sees you, issue, did he say? Let's have a look in the piles of bits and see if I can find anything. Oh, do any of these trucks have a white headliner? You've got a red one. You haven't got one. You've got red. I think that's it. I need a white one for that truck, don't I? You haven't got one either. You have got the bench seat, though. I do like the bench seat. Oh, you have got a roof liner. It's there. Uh... Um, should we go for one refresh at least before we head back to the garage? I feel like I'm rolling the dice, you know. Luck of the draw. I don't think it's taken as long to load either. Have one last look at around the uh, junkyard, head back to the garage, fit the windows. And I think I'll grab the box out of storage and get that fitted as well. I might as well. And call it a day for the video. I can go and get some food when I decided what I want to eat. It's another red roof liner, I don't need that. What is that? Oh, pillar for the uh, wooden sides on a flatbed. We've got a lovely blue interior. Makes a little hack here. If you want cheap batteries, this is where it's going to call me a liner, and the battery's going to be expensive. What is it? Nope, these batteries are cheaper. So if you come to the junkyard, if you've got the F100 mod at least. They sometimes spawn with a good battery, either a good battery or a bad battery. If you get a good battery, you can get it cheaper than going to the shop. That one's got a bad one. Interior is brown. Oh. That damn phone of mine. Keep quiet. That lad doesn't have anything either. I keep wanting to buy cars like that for projects, but um, I think, well, I've got three in storage as it is. Do I really need any more? I wouldn't mind tuning up one of these convertibles. I really do not have many of the... Actually, I've only got one in my collection, I think. Maybe two? I can't remember. I want to know what Viking has planned for these. 
See, I can't open these from this side. I'll show you something that I found out. Because I've, I've got no clipped, so if I no clip into here, so. Oh, it's changed. I was able to open the doors from the inside. But there is actually an interior in here. Yeah, I can't get the doors to open now. They used to open. So I don't know if Vikings got something planned for them. <laughs> Just landed straight on the truck. I don't think there's any parts laying about that I need. I don't need a bed, don't need door cards. Actually, I've just remembered I've got those F100s out there, haven't I? And I can't remember what they need. Let's have a look. I'll salvage parts for those off camera, though. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to head back to the garage in a minute. So I do need a hood. I need right hand fender. Radiator support in this one and battery wires. They both need, le yeah, a left hand um, bed panel. And we need, this one needs a right hand wheel well. That means a left hand wheel well. That means a right hand door and sill. This needs a left sill or a rocker. I don't know why we call them sills over here. Oh, need a right hand sill as well. Right. Anyway, let's head uh, to the garage. Wrong one. I was wasted ten bucks, but never mind. Right. Ah, oh, I didn't pick the rear window up, did I, you numpty? <sighs> right. Go back here. Get that out of the way. Now we can head back to the carriage. Now that I've got both window openers. <laughs> right. Pry tool's not in there, is that over here? There's one shattered window and two shattered windows. One where did I drop the windscreen? There it is. Right, so I just want the um, I don't think it's just got glass this side. There's nothing going down in the door, so I might need uh, windows for the door. Actually, before I start kicking things everywhere, let's just pick this lot up. Will not let me pick that up for some reason. Pile that over here. In the junk pile, I've got one more of mine, which is right there. All right, now we'll go and get the box. If anyone has noticed as well, I've had a bit of a clean up. So all those V8 engines and parts have disappeared. Not very far though, they should I think they're in this safe slot. I either put them in this safe slot or I put them in one of the two free ones. I can't remember. Oh, I forgot I had that bed in here. 
and some exhausts. Right, this is what I was in here for. Oh, I'll put the I-6s in here. I wondered where they disappeared to. Okay. Boink. Now, I can't remember... how they go on. Do they... I think they weld on, don't they? I think. Um, we're about to find out, so I'm going to grab a welder first. Had the um, F one hundred one um, fixed on. It may not be weld actually. Nuts. I can't remember. <laughs> Whoops. That is something I did not want to do, and I haven't saved. No matter, I can fix all that before the uh, next video. I forgot, if you've got a backpack mod, you cannot press E while facing a vehicle, because that happens. If you look at my backpack, I've just got the um, trailer box in there. I haven't got the truck. It deletes the truck. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to rebuild the engine again. But it's not a biggie. I can do that off camera. I should just remember to save a bit more uh, frequently. I get so stuck into the game, though, I just forget. Anyway, on that note, or as Jeremy Clarkson would say, on that bombshell. I'm going to end the video here, so thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you to all of those who have subscribed already. can't believe I've... I haven't looked myself, but uh, my brother's told me it's over 100 subs now. So thank you all for subscribing. Um... As always, I'll put links to my other two YouTube channels in the uh, description box below. So feel free to head on over and check those out. Um, I'll also leave a link link, sorry, to the uh, Discord server in the uh, description down below. So feel free to come and check that out as well. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.